I'm Mrs Green, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be doing a very simple science experiment that you can do at home. Okay, so I'm going to show you what you need. You need an empty plastic bottle, you need some bicarbonate of soda that you can find in the cupboard, you need some vinegar, I'm using some drops of food colouring as well so you can see the experiment better, and you need a balloon. Okay. You don't have to have protective clothing unlike me, but if you want to, then you can. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. First thing, we're going to put some of the vinegar into the bottle. Okay, like that. So quite a bit. Wow, okay, so that is a lot. Fills the bottom. Okay, that should be enough, I think. Okay, then, this is the tricky bit. I've got the top of a plastic bottle, but you can use a funnel or anything like that. Okay, this is a tricky bit now because we've got to attach the balloon to the top of the bottle and then we're going to spoon in some of the bicarbonate of soda. Okay, okay that should be enough. Alright, and we have to twang that off. Okay, and then going to put this onto the top of the bottle like that. Now, this is a science experiment, so I want you to have a think about what you think might happen. I'm going to put my protective goggles on just in case. Ready? One, two, three. Wow! Wow, wow, wow! You can see lots and lots of bubbles. You can hear the fizzing of the bubbles. And you can see something else has happened here to the balloon. Now, my son Caleb, who's doing a biochemistry degree, is going to tell you what's happening here. Caleb. So the chemical reaction produces CO2, which is a light gas that rises up into the balloon, inflating it. It also produces water, which stays in the bottom of the bottle. CO2 is the gas that we breathe out and is released back into the atmosphere. Back to you, Mrs. Green. Thank you. Oh, I'll tell you what we forgot to do. We forgot to put the colour food colouring in that one, so I'll show you this one. Now, I've got one here that's got lots more vinegar in. And it's also got a lot more bicarbonate of soda. What do you think is going to happen this time? Okay, I'm going to put it on. All right, so what happened last time, and if you look over here, you can still see that balloon is still blown up, so that gas is still in there. Okay, protective goggles on. Are you ready? One, two, three. Okay, wow! Woohoo! Hey! Much more spectacular than the first time. Look at that, you can hear the fizzing as well. Shh. And you can see how. The balloon has inflated with the gases that Caleb talked to you about. So, this is what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to see if you can have a go at home. Maybe try experimenting with more vinegar, more bicarbonate of soda. See what happens if you only put a little bit of each in. But you can see already, look at the difference in the amount of gas in these two balloons. Okay, if you do that and you make those videos, if you send them to yr at anglesey.bham.sch.uk. I'd love to see them. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye.